Solar power is the power we harness from solar energy. Let's take a look at where it comes from, the sun, which radiates two forms of energy. You have heat and light. We can tap both of those for solar power. The solar power that we're interested in and focus in is photovoltaics, which is about converting the light directly and instantly into electricity. Solar power. Singapore is practically on the equator. And so on the equator, you get a lot of sunshine throughout the year, very evenly. And photovoltaics generates clean power with no emissions. It has got low maintenance during operation. And more importantly, it reduces reliance on imported fuel. Commonly addressed renewable energy sources. Several are not applicable here. We don't have any mountains for hydropower, so that falls out of the question. We don't have the sufficient wind, and we don't have any geothermal energy. So solar is the most abundant, and of course universally applicable. Solar energy has a higher potential than other renewable energy sources. Solar energy has low maintenance compared to other energy sources wherever there is dynamic. Last year, solar power became a good investment in Singapore. It meant that if you install on your roof, you get a payback within eight years or even less. In Singapore, so far, the installations of solar power is about 18 megawatt, which is about less than 1% of our energy requirements. There are three major constraints. One is space because a local study has justified that only 40 square kilometer of area is PV deployable area in Singapore. Land-based applications will be very good, but the cost of land here, you know, at $20,000, 30000 per square meter, uh, makes that prohibitive. And so you find it being rooftops. The second constraint is its intermittent generation, because whenever it's cloudy, you cannot expect the same energy levels. You want to avoid shaded situations. A lot of residential buildings and smaller commercial ones in the central business district are in quite a tricky situation in terms of other buildings shading the sun. So they're not such good targets. Then the third problem was business model. What sort of business model will be suitable for solar energy in Singapore, but that has been addressed very well with the new uh, solar leasing model. What drives the cost down? It's market forces. You've got supply and demand. Companies are competing to try and get the best cost, so technology gets the cost down. NTU is installing 3.5 megawatt of the rooftop solar system. And then the secondly, you can find on National Stadium, they, have, they are installing about 707 kilowatt system covering 7,000 square meter. And the SDB has installed on about 45 uh, HDB blocks. In Singapore, I believe that uh, by 2025, we will be able to generate at least 10 to 15% of our energy requirements using renewable energy sources. The prospects are pretty good. Now that we've reached you know, the commercial viability, making it an attractive investment, you can bet that growth is taking off. We're looking at possibly doubling every year. We currently have around 20 megawatts. If you think six or seven years from now, that's already doubling every year, then you reach a hundredfold, which brings us to around two gigawatts. Sustainable Energy Association of Singapore forecasts that about two gigawatts will be roughly the maximum that we have uh, market space for in Singapore. Solar Nova, that's another um, program uh, announced by uh, ADB. They are focusing on 350 megawatt by 2020, which is going to be 5% uh, of our energy requirements by 2020. And apart from these 350 megawatt, uh, HDB has also uh, called in for a tender last month for 20 megawatt. And that's going to be installed on 500 HDB blocks. So if you look at uh, the, the recent development, we're going to have a really good amount of solar energy generated in Singapore. If you have your own property which you can put it on, or maybe the company you work in, ask, you know, why aren't, why aren't we doing this? Do you realize we can save money by putting solar on our roof? So maybe that kind of thing can help. We need to create social awareness. We should talk openly about uh, supporting clean energy. Whenever we discuss with friends, we can talk about these clean energy sources, how good they are. And, uh, whenever it comes to every individual, they can support wherever they can. Go ahead and take a serious look at solar power uh, and invest in it. You won't be disappointed. So this is a machine where you can put cash in and you take bitcoins out. I have $20. You have $20. Let's buy, let's buy some bitcoins.